Hey, me back again. Showing some records. Big pile of records. Big box of records came in today. Ridiculous big box. Um, got a couple of Kiwi ones to show you. Well, these are all actually New Zealand re- 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 records per se, but not New Zealand music. Right, just to let you know quickly that playing in the background is this brand new record here by local tourist other ways of living this will be their probably their only record um, local tourists are a band from Christchurch per se made up um, of a bunch of local musicians with a, a lady who was visiting here from the US by the name of Erin Umstead and she's teamed up with Joe Sampson who plays in a lot of local bands and Rory Daly whose name is slightly familiar but I can't tell you from where this was recorded back in 2019 or so um, the lady in question has now gone back to America um, and this has been released on Melted Ice Cream Records out of Christchurch uh, really nice this is quite ethereal cop two twins sort of womb as another local reference really enjoying it so pleased to have that and then another one from melted ice cream they've actually got three releases coming out i haven't got the third one yet it's not available another christchurch band called best bets i think i've seen them play live once or twice um first record from them this one is on orange vinyl um, the local tourist one is on a translucent vinyl which is playing over there so I can't show it to you, that's what's playing behind us. Best Bets, nice orange record. Um, Rocky Indie, I've had listened to it a couple of times. Mm, it's good, it's not gelling perfectly with me. I like the guitar, lead guitarist has got some really good licks. Um, musically, I think it gets a little bit monotonous, but it could grow. And then finally, uh, the three new New Zealand uh, new re- new um, releases is this one by Steel Magnolias. Memory Foam. Sorry, Memory Foam is... This is interesting. All songs written by Memory Foam. Okay, so the band's called Memory Foam. And yet it says Steel Magnolias there and then lists all the musicians. So um, that's a little bit confusing. So yeah, Memory Foam. Now, uh, this is on 112 Records, the latest one. 112 Records are a small boutique label out of Auckland, been going for 12, 10 years plus. Have This is their 17th record, our full playing record, LP. I have all of their LPs up to this one, and I don't, but I, I don't have any of their singles. I think I have one EP. There's a, half a dozen singles as well, but that's their full discography and every album so far has been fantastic fortunately until this and I didn't listen to it when I bought it but because it was 112 records and I will probably keep it because it's on 112 records and collecting all their records yeah this just doesn't get click for me it's it's um so the vocalist is Yiko Mayoshi so she's obviously some sort of Japanese lady and then the rest of the guys are guessing a local I think it was recorded in Auckland Steampunk, uh, Atari, I don't know, it's like, yeah, it's a soundtrack to a hentai, Japanese hentai thing, I don't know, it, it, it's very fast, it's very chaotic sounding, um, it's not particularly well recorded, yeah, um, it just doesn't gel with me. Anyway, so um, I will keep it because I say I am collecting all of the records off that label, but yeah, I was a bit disappointed with that one. Right, okay, so this is a big box of records, 30, I'm going to show you 36 records, 37 records arrived in this box today, one of them I don't want to show you because there's no point, and I'm not going to keep it, and I don't like it, um, and it's just a rip off of the rest of the other ones. Back in the early 70s, in 1971, a company called Music for Leisure in New Zealand um, put together a, a compilation of hits. And, and commercial music that was pretty popular around the place 
at the time and had been getting played on the radio. I, I think that's how it worked. And this was the very, the very first volume of a, quite a long-winded series. Um, this series really, uh, we grew up with this series. We grew up with these records. They were everywhere. They were everywhere and they were released every four months or so. So there's like three albums a year came out. Um, and they were hugely popular and they're everywhere. And they had, I wouldn't say a big impact, but they certainly formed a big part of my listening as a as a youngster, as a, before my teenage years and before I discovered the more alternative musics and, and stuff that I like immensely now. Um, so yeah, like I say, pretty commercial, but I, I I went through the track listing on all of the volumes and decided that, hey, you know, these are pretty cool. There is some good stuff on them. There is some New Zealand stuff on them, which you don't see around that much, some great New Zealand songs. There is also some great pop songs, and there's like a lot of chaff, a lot of rubbish. But, but then my wife will really enjoy these too, and she'll probably like the stuff more that I don't like. So we're both going to get a bit of enjoyment out of these. But like I say, there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories, on this stuff and you know yeah pretty cool compilations um this one here has particularly uh, Maggie May by Rod Stewart uh, Paul McCartney Uncle Albert um Ernie by Benny Hill <laughs> oh yeah I mean a lot of these songs are just so familiar because of years and years of exposure even back then, this is the sound of commercial radio in the early 70s in New Zealand. So that is volume one. Volume two. Um, this one's got the fantastic Good Morning Mr. Rock and Roll by New Zealand band Headband. And that is a fantastic track. Uh, it's got John, Law John Lennon's Imagine and Theme from Shaft. It's got T-Rex on it. So, you know, there is, a, there is some pretty cool stuff on here. And then there is some, some not quite so cool, but quite good pop songs um, and stuff. Just as a quick interlude, or oh, actually we'll go through this one. Uh, volume 3. Uh, this one is not quite so good, although it's got uh, a Blurter track on it from New Zealand's Blurter. Another T-Rex track, um, Nights in White Satin, Moody Blues, uh, etc. So, you know, yeah, you get the idea. I mean, I think every country in the world has something like this I'm sure well in the western world has some sort of compilation series of the hits of, of, of the day like these and this this is a New Zealand version and so the difference between this and some of the overseas ones is the inclusion of the New Zealand songs now this one is a slight spin off it came out in 1972 it is a, num a compilation of number one hits um, going back right back to 62 um, so there are things like uh, The Kinks You Really Got Me, uh, Something in the Air, Thunderclap Newman, Fox on the Run, Manfred Mann, Summer in the City, Loving Spoonful, Substitute by the Hot Who, ho um, and stuff like that, you know, Crimson and Clover. So yeah, some pretty cool songs on this one. I, I was enjoying that, singing along to some of it. What do we got? Volume 4. Volume 4, there's a bit of Yellow River by Christy and Eric Clapton's Layla. Um, Johnny Cash is on it. Procol Harum, What a Shade of Pale. My wife will love that one. She likes that sort of stuff. They are overall in reasonably good condition. So I picked them up as a big bundle, um, basically. Um, I'd seen them, they come up on Trade Me a couple of times as a bundle. I think this seller had tried to sell this lot before. He said that they're all in, in good condition. They don't look too bad. Some of them are pretty grubby, but I think they'll clean up when I get some more cleaning fluid. I need some more cleaning fluid because I've completely run out. But, um, yeah, so I picked them up as a bundle. So I paid around about $15 each. Now that's a little bit higher on the higher side for these perhaps although looking on discogs that's about right but if you see them in the shops you're probably paying five to ten dollars depending on condition unfortunately this is this, these sort of things turn up a lot in the junk shops and um so that's you get them cheapest but generally in really pretty bad condition uh the other the bigger shops the, the local uh, what do you call it the proper shops you might pay ten to fifteen dollars depending on the condition um, and how many copies they have floating around in shops in the store. Delta Dawn on this one, Piano Man, no, not 
Is that there? Is that there? Rose Garden. Bad Leroy Brown. That's cool. I like that. Remember that song? Hello, Gary Glitter on this. See, oh, there's no Kiwi ones on this one. Yeah, so that's volume five. Volume six. Oh, yes, there's Big Norm. That's a Kiwi song. That's cool. Albatross, Fleetwood Mac. So some of these are a little bit older songs from, from back in the day. This is a 1973, this one came out. Mungo Jerry, oh excellent, I was hoping they would have some, some of his. Miss September, uh, Bulldog All Time, All Time, Good Time. The Bulldog's All Star Good Time Band, that's a Kiwi band. I've actually got the record that, that came off, yeah. So, a real mix of stuff. Now, Volume 7. Volume 7 was one that really stuck in my memory from a child, and maybe this was the first one that I kind of got into. Now, I would have been about seven when this came out. Um, yeah, yeah, seven or eight, coming on seven. So I remember, yeah, th this is 1974, so I was living in New Brighton. This, it brings back a lot of memories, and I think there's a guy I went to school with who lived around the corner, and I used to spend a lot of time at his place, and I used to go in there in the morning, um, and we'd, we'd walk to school together. Um, and I think that they may have had a copy of this record, and, and we played it a bit. Um, another track by the good, the Bulldog All Star Good Time Band, uh, In the Year That I Breathe by the Hollies, really cool. Um, what else have we got? The Laughing Gnome by David Bowie. Living for the City by Stevie Wonder, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, like I say, this record and the cover, the cover, you know, really stuck in my memory. So this was possibly the first one that I got familiar with because um, we didn't well they dad had a few of these I mean you know he had a few of these okay volume 8 um, um, oh, uh, Lulu's version of Bowie's The Man Who Stole the World Spinning Wheel Blood Sweat and Tears <laughs> The International Streaker I remember that was that from 74 I thought it was later than that Oh, there's another track by Bulldogs. It showed a Lang song from uh, New Zealand uh, singer-songwriter. So yeah, there's some interesting stuff. Actually, I don't, I'm not quite so familiar with some of the stuff on that one. Hello, that one there. Yeah, the cover needs to be glued up. I really need to get some cleaning onto that, cleaning onto these. Volume 9, actually this one looks like a familiar cover that I seem to remember quite well. Um, lots of Donnie and Marie on these, unfortunately. Oh, the theme from MASH on this one. Another Cliff Richard. Out on the Street by Space Walsh, which is uh, New Zealand. He's, that's a really famous song in New Zealand, although he's a bit of a uh, David Bowie imitator in some ways. I should speed things up here. This is volume 10, Benjamin Turner Overdrive. It's a great song. This is a bit of Slade. John Hanlon, who's a New Zealander, I've got a couple one of his records. Oh, Radar Love by Golden Earring, that's a fantastic song. That, that was a really big song that, um, later on for us in my uh, teens. What are we up to? Volume 11. Linda Ronstadt. Gloria Gaynor, oh, You Never Can Say Goodbye, I do I like that song. Autobahn by Kraftwerk. So there's some interesting things that turn up on here that you would quite not expect. Um, Roll on down the highway, Batchman Turner Overdrive. No New Zealanders on this one. Oh, Mark Williams. Yeah, not a big fan of Mark Williams. And volume 12. What do we got? Brotherhood of Man. Stand by Your Man by Tammy Wynette. Batchman Turner Overdrive again. A bit of 10cc. Oh, Walk On By, Gloria Gaynor. Where is the New Zealand stuff? No. That's interesting. No New Zealand tracks on that one that I could see. Number 13. Oh, Johnny Nash. I think he was... Is he New Zealander? No. Nash Ch Oh, the Yandel sisters. They were New Zealand. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be into that track. It's a bit of Fred Dagg. Oh, classic Fred Dagg here. 
Um, we don't know how lucky we are. Fred, that is an iconic New Zealand song. And Murray, oh, Grand Funk, excellent. Grand Funk, there's another Mark Williams track. Roger Daltrey. Yeah, so, like I say, it's a real mix of stuff, and a lot of it I don't like, but, you know, really nostalgia. Here we are, what are we, we're 1976 here, so we're getting into a bit of the disco shit here. We've got the Silvers here on here. Um, oh, yeah, Steve Miller, Billy Ocean, Natalie Cole. Disco Duck by Rick Dees and his cast of idiots. Interesting. Play that funky music by Wild Cherry. I love that song. That's great. Yeah. Excellent. 15. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? The Hollies. Wiggle that Watson. I don't know that one. A bit of Bay City Rollers. God, yeah, this one here. This one here's a little bit. Oh, Tina Chalvis, Kiwi Lady. Brown Eyed Girl. Blinded by the Light, Manfred Mann. There's, there's the hit. There's the big one off there for me. And, um, I'll just pop that off there. Okay, let's speed it up, eh? So, volume 16, David Sold on this, Earth, Wind, and Fire, uh, Atlantic River section, not so many New Zealanders, uh, volume 17, where are we up to? 1977, this one. All right, Jedi Aligner, Steve Miller, that Miller, Miller, that's a bloody good one. Boogie Nights by Heatwave. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Yep. So we're getting into the disco era here. Doctor Hook. What is this one? Volume eighteen. More Mark Williams. Black Betty Ram Jam. I absolutely love that song. I do not have it on vinyl because I don't have their album that came out. Oh, it's got Gutter Black by Hello Sailor, which is an absolute New Zealand classic. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of really good tracks on that one. 19, what are we up to? 77 still. Um, but status quo. So we've got a split ends track here, My Mistake. That was probably one of their earliest big hits in New Zealand. Uh, Hello Sailor again with Blue Lady, which is another of their absolute classic New Zealand tracks. Um, then we've got a bit of Schubert, Gloria Gaynor again, the Fatback Band. Uh, what are we up to? Volume 20, Bee Gees, Uriah Heap. I Need Your Love, Golden Harvest. That's a great New Zealand song. I actually have the album with that on it. Uh, April Sun in Cuba, which is Dragon. They were massive here in Australia. Another, uh, but more uh, New Zealand stuff on this one. There's, yeah. Oh, the Star Wars theme. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, a bit of Eric Clapton, Lay Down Sally. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I say my wife will really enjoy these, so we can, we can enjoy parts of them together. What do we got here? We're up to 21. It's 1978. Ah, no, there's an ABBA track. Yeah, my wife will like that. Yeah, a bit of Genesis. Oh, there's a sweet Love is Like Oxygen. A good track. Jet Airliner by Steve Miller. Wasn't that just on one of the other ones? Surely they didn't do a double up. No, oh, pass. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, and. The covers start to get a bit more raunchy, don't they, now, with these uh, lo lovely ladies. What do we got here? Volume 22 from 1978. Bit of meatloaf here. Uh, Village Peoples. Oh, the Emotions. I had that album. I wonder if that's the best track off of it. I had the Emotions. Yeah, I didn't really get into it as a whole. I picked it up really cheap somewhere. Um, John Rolls. John Rolls, he was one of ours, wasn't he? Local local lad. Okay, so 23, more village people. Uh, Le Freak by Chick. I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. So again, the disco stuff is quite dominating here. There's the Pointer Sisters. Oh yeah, Susie Quattro. Yep, yep, so that's... Uh, the disco area. Now this cover here is quite familiar to my to my eyes, so I think we may have had this at home at somewhere. Baby It's You by Promises, what a great start that one is. Yeah, so I'll Lay Your Love on Me by Racy. Now I actually have a real soft spot for that song. It's quite cool. They had two tracks out Racy. They really jump 
jumpy, great pop songs. Blondie's Heart of Glass, there you go, that's that's great. Um, yeah, I think we had a copy of this floating around my house at some stage in the past. Or oh, um, Certainly, Lena Lovitch's Lucky Number, Pop Music by M. So yeah, this, this is very familiar um, volume to me. We are up to what year? Hasn't got a year on this one. Volume 25. Bit of Kiss on here. Boomtown Rats, I Don't Like Monday. Yes, this one here, I think had a, had a, I think a friend of mine had this one. Because we remember, I remember playing um, Don't Like Mondays off this quite a lot. And Tube Way Army, Our Friends Electric. So yeah, there, there's some cool stuff on these ones. This is getting into the stage where I'm starting to hit onto the new music coming out. And... Um, these are some of the songs that I was picking up on. Oh, and the, oh, the Devil Went Down to Georgia, Charlie Daniels. <laughs> That's an excellent, excellent song. Ah, volume 26 here, I've Got You by Split End. So this must be around about 1980, because it, yes it is, 1980. So I Got You, so Split Ends, that was the LP, my very first LP got given to me by my mother. I think at the end of 1980 was Split Ends, um, True Colours, which I Got You came off, that was the single that propelled them really into the big time, not just in New Zealand, but um, all over the world, um, the UK, the US. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what else is on here. Nothing, nothing a hell of a lot that stands out to me on that one. Volume 27. That's an interesting kind of variation on the covers. So Tom Petty's Refugee on this. So that, I do remember, oh, you're turning Japanese and Funky Town. Um, so this one here, I'm pretty sure, is, a, is one that I had access to. Uh, I Hope I Never by Split Ends. Yeah, these tracks sound, from this, this, this is a pretty uh, familiar familiar track listing on that one. So I recognise that one. And I do, and I'm pretty sure I recognise this one. I think, let's have a look at the track list. Oh yeah, George Benson's Give Me the Night. That's, that's a cool track. Another one, Bites of Dust by Queen. You'll always find me in the kitchen at parties. And this one, oh, this is actually, my wife's already got a copy of this one. This is the one. Culture by the Knobs. That is a song. Um, that is New Zealand classic. I got the album now. The album's pretty mediocre, but that single, the cult, the culture by the Knobs, that's it was huge. It was all over the television. It was a song uh, protesting the record tax that the then government had brought in. So yeah, that was that was wicked. Twenty nine. Ah, oh, whip it by Devos on this one. Excellent. Kate Bush. Phil Collins, ah, Shut Up of Your Face by Joel, Joe Dolce Music Theatre. Yeah, I okay, don't remember that one. Volume 30, we're getting near the end, folks. Sorry to bore you. Roxy Music, Emmylou Harris, Kids in America by Kim Wilde. There's lots of tracks that I know pretty uh, well. Oh, a bit of Cold Chisel on here. Uh, Dire Straits, Cascade Away. Volume 31. Stop Dragging My Heart Around by Stevie Nicks and Tom Petty. Rick Springfield's Jesse Gill. Oh, The Stray Cats, brilliant. That's a great song. Oh my God, Stars of 45, yuck. Um, yeah, yeah. There's not so many New Zealand ones here. There's a couple of Australian ones that are creeping in. Um, there's a Mental As Anything track on here. And we had... Uh, cold chisel one before but yeah not a lot of New Zealand stuff coming up here oh yeah there is one here Dave McCartney and the Flamingos um yeah G Girls on Film Duran Duran that was uh one I got onto very early in my my collecting career and Tainted Love Soft Cell excellent so yeah some great hits on here oh there we go there's a Harold Morrison track on here that's interesting nearly at the end folks uh Yep, Split Ends again, Duran Duran again, bit of Rod Stewart back on the day. What is this, 1982, this one? Um, whew, not a lot on that one that, that really tickles my fancy. And then penultimately, oh, a bit of Tony Basil on this. Started with a Kiss Hot Chocolate, Steve Miller Band, bit of Split Ends again. 
don't talk to strangers rick springfield oh come on eileen blah blah oh prince tui teka there you go there's some new zealand stuff that was an interesting and finally the all the ones that i have is the last one and they called it video hits trying to uh, change with the time solid gold but volume 35 this is the second to last volume um the track listing's a lot less. This is from 1983. There's not many on here. Grandmaster Flash, The Message. Now, that's a pretty cool track to have on here. Um, yeah, the rest of them are fairly more commercial. A Talk Talk track. Hot Ice House track. Okay, so there's only 2, 4, 6, 8... 10, 12, 14, 16. There's only 16 tracks on this, which is four less than normal because there was 20 tracks on either ones. Now, apparently, this is actually um, quite rare and worth a reasonable amount of money. So I understand it goes for up to 100 bucks. Now, there's another volume. The final volume that came out after this was volume 36. And 36 is the big collectible one that people pay really big sums for, like two or $300, apparently. I don't know why. I had a look at the track listing of volume 36, and it was all... The first side was a whole bunch of tracks that had already been on these compilations, and then the next, the other half of it was a bunch of, I don't know, new stuff, which I had a look at the track listing, and it didn't really appeal to me too much at all. So I wasn't too concerned that, that um, I didn't get 36, because the guy's going to sell it individually, but musically it wasn't that great. But anyway, got the 35. This one is worth a bit of dough. Um, unfortunately, it look, appears to have Kaja Gugu's Too Shy. I absolutely hate that song. Um, so there you go, 35 volumes of Solid Gold Hits from 1971 to 1983. So that's a lovely collection. It's, it's very nostalgic. It's I've been thinking about it for a while, and it come up a couple of times on trade me and i thought uh, i finally jumped on it because i've got some money at the moment so um yeah my wife will really enjoy those um we can enjoy them together so that's cool all right that's probably a pretty long video so i shall let you go see you next time cheers